Hey boys, welcome back to some more Bulldogs Korea, or Mad Burn Korea, I should say, as as Canterbury Bulldogs. But uh, it's going to be round three of the season taking on the New Zealand Warriors. We've started out very well. Personally, we've had a an excellent start to the career. Looking at the, the Warriors team, it's actually... Volkman isn't going to be the halves, probably uh, Tamara Martin, but... Uh, other than that, it actually looks very much like how it will in in real life. So, it's it's uh I I, I mean honestly, it's going to be as again no Josh Adokar. I don't know. He must be. He's got to be injured. Surely he's got to be injured. Um, but we still you know still still a decent side. We still got Viliami kick out on our edge, which is nice. We can just you know try to feed him the ball, get him involved. Um, but yeah, the Warriors are they're an interesting one this year. Because they have not played at home in a couple of years now. That makes a big difference. Like, it makes a huge difference that having to travel to New Zealand and play New Zealand if they find a bit of form. So, hopefully, you know, just in a regular league sense, obviously having the Warriors be good is it's just, it's just better for the game, if we're being honest. So, hopefully they can get back to some good form they got again they've got a very good forward pack i feel like we say that every year but they've saw again they've signed some very good quality as the kick went up and dellen with tennis lesniak oh uh, ourselves and reed marnie actually given decent chase there I, I thought for a thought for a split second we were making ground but not going to be able to catch dellen with tenny Zelezniak off that. That's uh, that's an unfortunate way to concede the first point. So it was actually a really good first set of six, but high kick goes up. The kick chase probably wasn't what it needed to be, and I'll see you later. Not uh, not going to catch him. So not not a great start to the game, but uh, you know plenty plenty of time still. That's the beauty of <laughs> letting in a try for first set of six basically. As uh, we hit. Uh, not kick out. Who did we hit there? Someone close to the line almost got through. They put the little kick in. Not, not a bad one, but not uh, not quite the play on uh, on on that tackle, unfortunately. But we're, we're starting to we're mounting some pressure. We're mounting some pressure on the Warriors here. We, we've just been we've been constantly inside their red zone. We have to, you know, we don't have to score. It'd be nice to score, but at least we're, we're putting pressure on. We're, we're getting their tackle count up, hopefully fatigue. Villiam kick out. Oh, that's that's sensational. That's that's a kick out play right there. Nice little blindside play. Didn't need to get involved. Just kick out. Paseca, the man that's obviously in for Adokar, has actually been really impressive <laughs> to start the to start the career. So I can't I can't be too I can't be too upset that he's he's in the team, but. Kick out just uh, with the lovely hands. The face ball across there as uh, we spray this one to the right, unfortunately. But uh, great, to, great to hit back nice and early. You know, he, he's a little bit of that uh, scoreboard pressure slightly. And, I'm, oh, man, I'm so I'm so keen as uh, the ball gets picked off. Jaden Ockenball back into the side here. But I'm so keen. I, I'm making this video. It's Tuesday night. So a couple more sleeps to go. It's like, it's, honestly, it's better than Christmas. Honestly, <laughs> it's better than Christmas. Um, footy season starting back up again. I mean, I love I love cricket. I got to be honest, though, um, as we are going to... A nice little uh, nice little barge over try here. Corey Waddell just, uh, again, the, the, the mound of possession, the mound of pressure we're putting on the Warriors. They, they've done a decent job, but it's going to take its toll. But... Um, I love cricket, and back when I was a bit younger, um, during school and stuff, like, I was definitely a better cricket player than rugby league player. I was, you know, I'm, I'm not trying to brag, but I was, I was, I was one of those kids that was good at pretty much every sport. The cricket I was actually good at, and I love cricket, and as I've got older, I still love cricket, don't get me wrong, and, and during cricket season, it's great, but I think as of, as I am getting older, cricket hasn't kept the the same passion i guess as as rugby league rugby league has gone right well actually I, I wouldn't say that a cricket has probably stayed around as it was i think rugby league for me has gone to another level and it's probably i mean it probably is in turn for for doing youtube videos and 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 probably super coach on top of that it, ju it just adds another element to it that uh you get more into the stats more into the actual games themselves and uh 
and and that's probably why. So footy season coming back around again, and also <laughs> as that was a that was a fantastic kick. And that's uh, not to get too off topic. As uh, off the scrum here. Oh, I just wanted to throw the offload. Damn it! <laughs> that was so frustrating. I was waiting. I was just waiting and waiting for. I think it was Flanagan there to just get on my right shoulder for the offload, and then I just lost patience. I threw the offload when no one was around. I should have just held the footy, but it was open. It was just open for someone to run onto it and uh, not to be. But fifth tackle here. It's going to get back to... Uh, who the hell is that? Fatala Mariner? <laughs> I don't know. It's a shocking kick. Last tackle, not uh, not the option. Um but, uh, but what was I going to say? Oh, the other, I mean, the other thing about it is that, like, I live in North Queensland and summer is fucking terrible. <laughs> it is absolutely horrendous. The humidity is, is honestly unbearable at times. Um, it's disgusting. As, again, another little kick, not from us, but whoever it was put in a decent little kick. Kyle Flanagan on the back of it. Who was this? Who the hell is that? Corey Waddell? I don't I Honestly, I don't know. But it's a, it's a beauty of a kick, and uh, we'll have a pretty easy conversion to go up 16 points to 6, and probably put this game a bit out of reach for the Warriors. But, yeah, start of start of winter, start of footy, it starts to get a little bit of coolness in the air. It's just a, it's a beautiful time of the year. But uh, hopefully we can finish this game off. The Warriors, I mean, they get a chance here. Last tackle, 10 minutes to go. If they're with, you know, if, if they are in this game, they need a score in this set of six. Sean Johnson, he is going to score. I was just going to say, not the play. <laughs> not the play on last tackle. They were a little bit too flat. He couldn't put the kick in. But unfortunately, some, some very, very poor online defense has gifted the Warriors a try. Sean Johnson is going to make it a four-point game, which is not good. <laughs> not good. So they can definitely snatch victory if they... If they score a try, because the AI is is pretty good at goal kicking, I would say. As we come up with a high shot, oh no! Trying to shut the play down nice and early. It was good. It was a good read in defence, but we've come up with an absolute uh, absolute clothesline, giving the Warriors another chance to uh, to post some points. But Kickout comes up with a huge intercept there to uh, to hopefully save our ass in this one. Because I, I mean, I feel like we've been a far better team, but. It's one of those games. That was a beautiful pass, by the way. It's one of those games that you can just easily just find yourself losing in the dying moments. And we, we you know, it looks like we are going to get away with it. Beautiful play onto the right winger, Jaden Ockenbohr. And he is just going to just body his way through a couple of would-be tacklers and score a pretty nice try. It was great hands by us to get it to him. And then the big man beats one, beats a second. Not going to get caught from behind and uh that's a beautiful try and uh we are going to get the win here Pr pretty well deserved i would say pretty well deserved it's going to be 20 points to 12 no we missed a kick somehow i don't know how the hell we missed it but uh yeah pretty solid and it's been a, it's been a great start to the great start to the career um you know some some very very good games i mean this one last game was was sort of it was all to do with our kicking game. Our, our kicking game was was next level. We were just turning the opposition around. And this one, it, it was a bit more attacking, I would say. Less less sort of field tug of war with the kicking game. But uh, fantastic nonetheless. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the series. Make sure to like and comment, and I'll see you in the next one.